Deborah, we are surrounded now by a lake here in Stuttgart. You love water. Yes. How does it come? I feel much better now I'm near some water. <laughs> um, I guess it's just um, a passion, you know, that I can't now stay away from water. It's, my career is so much based around water. Okay. You actually traveled, if I may say that, 111 days all by yourself over the ocean, over the Atlantic. Um, were there not only s nice moments, but also scary moments, being alone on the water? Yes, there were. Um, I mean, the rowing boat was not very uh, big, and uh, most of it's open to the elements, so the waves were, when they're very big, which I had two hurricanes, so I had very, some very bad weather that would land in the boat, and the boat would roll around in the waves. Um, but then there were these kind of beautiful, flat, calm days where you're watching dolphins and whales and swordfish, and you know, and so it, it had massive highs, but also some very dark lows because of the loneliness. Mm -hmm. How did you get along with that loneliness? In many ways it was like the best thing but the worst thing because um, although I was desperately um, alone and you know I longed to see someone and talk to someone for all those months the best side of it though was that it gave me all this time to sit and think and listen and and I had this chance just to start this conversation which with God which I'd never had before I left uh, Tenerife where I started from with no faith and um, and had three and a half months of you know I suppose God had a captive audience I, I couldn't go anywhere and I just had to talk to him so it was uh, by the time I got to my finish line which was in Barbados in the Caribbean I had this uh, huge faith that uh, was a real shock to me actually I wasn't expecting that to happen so what did you say uh, what would you say do people meet God in the church or do I have to be alone when do I meet God how can I get to know him I think there's a presumption and I had it myself that we you have to go to a church or be converted by someone else and actually it was uh, a surprise to me that just alone God can reach you wherever you are you don't have to be in a church building and actually I think for a lot of people they experience God through this immense beauty you know it's when you're in places like this where you you kind of your heart sings with joy and you think what is that feeling and for me now I realize that's that's the grace of God you know that's him giving you eyes to see and 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 hearing to be able to experience this incredible beauty and and so I firmly believe now God can reach people wherever they are nice wherever you are is now the, the key word for my next question because I wonder you are trying or wanting to do an expedition to the South Pole this year Yes. Why? And how? <laughs> Again, by dragon boat? <laughs> no. Um, well, it's my job to go on these expeditions, so I, I um, do them for a living, and I'm sponsored, and I, we make TV programs out of them, or uh, write books and do talks about them. Um, and, and we're always looking for new challenges, and so the next one just happens to be going to the South Pole, which will be, uh, we'll be flying into the South Pole and then skiing um, the last degree of latitude. Okay, one last question, you to the water. Do you like fish also <laughs> on your plate or is it just fish swimming when they are surrounded? Well, I find it hard to eat them now because when uh, being alone for three and a half months, the only company I had was the fish. And you get a lot of fish, fish land in your boat every day. You know, I had probably 30 fish a day would land in the boat because they leap and they don't, they don't know I'm there. So um, they were my friends and I felt like I couldn't eat them because that would just be horrible. <laughs> Thank you very much for that interview, Deborah. You're welcome.